Welcome back to the Pig Trail Show. We are joined by a very special guest, the newest Atlanta Falcon quarterback, Felipe Franks. Felipe, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to join us. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys for having me, and uh, it's a pleasure. Now, I got to ask, how excited are you to have made that break into the NFL and, and join Atlanta? Yeah, uh, it's, it's definitely a dream come true. You always dream as a child about playing in the NFL, and you work and you strive so hard to get to that point. Um, but yeah, it's like just the beginning for me, um, kind of just everything that's been going on, just underdog mentality. So I'm just ready to get started and kind of get to it. So it's been a fun process though. And the process was kind of hard, right? I mean, coming into the draft, did you expect to kind of be, be taken in day three? Were you surprised that you didn't have your name called? What were the feelings, uh, going through that Saturday? Um, being, I guess, just completely honest, um, yeah, I was hoping to get, you know, picked up on either, you know, day two, late day two, maybe day three. Um, but like I said, I mean, you know, I can control what I can control and that's really out of my hands. So uh, just really making the most of the opportunity um, in my eyes. I kind of look at it as a, an advantage towards me. Um, I've always kind of had the underdog mentality, but now really being the ultimate underdog is really just elevating my game and everything that I do, the way I eat, the way I do anything. So it's, it's, it's good. Um, it has its pros and cons, but it's good. Feelings were, were definitely all over the place. Um, but, you know, you make the most of the opportunity. So I'm grateful for it. Now, I, I, I want to get into your head a little bit more on that because I watched every single pick of day three. And I yeah. was even like, well, when are we going? When are we going? Uh, yeah. That had to be heightened a hundred times for you sitting there. Was was it hard to, to, to have that realization after the last pick? Or, or was it just like you said that you're just ready to go in the next opportunity? Yeah, I mean, I was just like you. I watched every pick, um, sat there, um, like I said, especially on day, like late day two, day two, day three, um, was just sitting there. But like at the same time, man, I don't think God makes any mistakes. And so uh, really just, I mean, like, like I said, kind of just grateful for the opportunity, but um, really allowing myself to, I guess, keep the underdog mentality and uh, just go to work more and being a sponge, really just soaking all the information in I can when I, when I get to Atlanta and, and all that stuff. So it's, it's awesome. It's an awesome opportunity um, to just grow as a player, as a person. Um, but yeah, just keeping the underdog mentality and, and, and striving and working and earning everything that I get. So after the draft, it was really quickly that the Atlanta Falcons uh, got you signed. What was that process like right when it ended? Did you have a phone call waiting or how, how did Atlanta go about uh, contacting you? Yeah, it was like right during the draft. And then, um, it, you know, I, I was, keeping in contact kind of with them and, and was hoping to get my name called. But then like right after, you know, the last couple of picks, I already kind of knew, um, you know, like where I was going to go and stuff. So that was kind of relieving. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, like I said, just the opportunity in general um, to be like, you know, in the NFL and have the opportunity to go be great is, is all I could ask for. So yeah, definitely stressful, but um, it's good. It worked out in the end. You said you want to be a sponge. And I don't think you can get into many better quarterback rooms than learning from a guy like Matt Ryan and AJ McCarron ahead of you. Um, just that those years of experience between the two. Uh, do you think you're ever going to be a little starstruck walking into that room to see Matt Ryan, a guy you've watched play grow up? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's kind of like surreal talking about it, but yeah, I mean, it's awesome. Um, and kind of the way I look at it is, you know, it's, it's, it's an awesome opportunity. Like you said, like the guy like Matt Ryan, AJ McCarron, um, to be able to just go in the quarterback room and just pick their brains, um, you know, know that, you know, if I can help with anything that maybe I can, you know, I'm there for that. But, you know, really just being the being the young guy, being able to learn everything and, and progress my game. And so uh, ultimately make me the best player I can be. And um, it'll be good. It'll be fun um, to learn from those guys, but to really just build relationships and, um, you know, just continue learning, really. Now, you said uh, before we even got on cam that you were um... – you're not in Atlanta yet, but you are, you're still in it's Cincinnati, right? Correct. Correct. Uh, what have you been doing throughout the summer and leading up to the, the, the flight to Atlanta here in a few days, what have you been doing just to prepare to get ready to, to make that jump into the NFL? Yeah, I think just the same thing I was doing, um, you know, since I've left Arkansas is just keeping my head down um, and really just controlling what I can control. And that's just, you know, the way I eat, the way I work out, um, you know, the way I carry myself character and just little things like that. I'm really just always striving to be a better person in general, um, you know, just up until the point that I get to Atlanta and then just really just running with it from there. 
I think once I get there, there's more opportunities. Um, like you said, from learning from guys like Matt Ryan, the vets, um, to just pick their brain and just uh, up my game even more. So uh, it's a good, it's a good opportunity. But uh, like I said, man, just the process has been the same, just working out, um, throwing my brother. I'm up here with my brother right now at his house, actually. And um, it's good. I have a, a brother that's in the NFL plan. So I have a good target to throw to and work out with. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That always helps. Right. Uh, now exactly. let's talk about kind of growing up in that type of family. This has been a kind of a, a, a journey for you going to Florida, coming to Arkansas for a short time, now making it into the league. It's hard to look back so far and, and think that every single event has led up to this point. But just when you look at your overall journey, what do you think about it? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, overall journey has definitely been, long but if i had to describe the journey um i think the one thing i would say like i wouldn't trade it for the world um you know the transferring process the being at florida ups and downs going to arkansas you know ups and downs still uh, throughout the you know just college career and i think that uh, i wouldn't trade it for the world because i think it just ultimately made me who i am today uh the person i am today the player i am today um and just more motivated than ever um to just get into a locker room and and prove myself, like I said before, uh, just keeping the underdog mentality. Um, you know, my whole career, um, always being doubted, always, he can't do this, he can't do that. I think it just, it, it fuels me um, to just keep striving to be great. Um, I've never been asked that question. That's a good question. But uh, just the whole career, man, it's been awesome. It's definitely been a journey. Um, and it's just made me who I am today. There's been ups and downs, and it's made me who I am. So, Well, I don't know if you've been asked this either, but uh, maybe. What did your – season in Fayetteville mean to you? How did you grow? What did Arkansas help you with uh, to grow? So what did that last season here in Arkansas mean? Yeah, it was awesome. Um, you know, I couldn't even describe it in a few words. I could give you just like, so just Coach Pittman, first of all, just giving me the opportunity to go to Arkansas. Um, and Coach Bryles, you know, having the trust in me to go there and, and, and play a season and, and, and get things back on track um, offensively and as a team. Um, that was an awesome opportunity and grateful for the opportunity in general. Um, but I think just more than that, just the community um, in Fayetteville, um, all of Arkansas fans, the coaches, the sports staff. Um, I mean, it just truly means a lot, giving me another opportunity when I left Florida to continue to prove myself, to continue to prove that I'm a top quarterback. Um, it's awesome. The teammates, you know, there's not, I can't thank enough people um, for just really just the opportunity and to, to grow as a person, when I was at Arkansas, man, it meant, it meant a lot. Um, just in a sense that, you know, you know, here's a, here, here's a, a renewed um, energy, a renewed team that you can go and start fresh with. So it was awesome. Um, it helped me grow so much as a player and as a person, the, the whole process being at Arkansas. And that team in your class, and this is the last question for me, you had Jonathan Marshall drafted to the Jets, Rakeem Boyd, going to Detroit, Jerry Jacobs, Xavier Kelly, all uh, going to the NFL as well. Have you reached out to any of those guys who, who also have earned a shot in the league? Yeah. Uh, just, I mean, like I said, just tell them congrats and they know just as well as I do that, you know, all you can ask for is an opportunity. Um, you know, I try not to worry about things that I can't control. You know, I can't control how fast, you know, a car, this car is going, or I can't, you know, just things that you can't control. I try not to worry about. And those guys know that as well. Um, just really just taking full advantage of the opportunity that you have at hand. And, uh, and that's definitely what I'm going to do. And I'm, I know those guys are going to do the same as well, knowing their work ethic. To have these, these guys drafted and, and to have you and, um, you know, Rakeem and, and guys going into the NFL, what does this say about the program Arkansas is building recently? Yeah. Um, and just from, from, from since I've been there um, in the short time frame that I was there, um, you know, I think it's just it starts with the culture. Coach Pittman's doing a great job of getting the culture on track um, and, and just getting the players' minds wrapped around winning. And that's all I care about um, is winning in everything that I do. Um, and I think it just progresses it. You know, you see guys like, you know, Rakeem and all those guys that come through Arkansas and, 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 and they have success and then they're going to the NFL. It just puts Arkansas back on the map. That's what, you know, I want to do as well is come back and give back once I, you know, get established and become the guy that I want to become in the NFL is come back to Arkansas and, and really just continue the recognition because it's a great school. It's a great place to live. I loved it there. Um, it's a great place to go to college. And, um, you know, I think just, it just, it's just a, a testament to coach Pittman, um, to everybody at Arkansas support staff, everybody 
really just getting the program back on track and, and getting it back into the top of the SEC. Former quarterback, Razorback quarterback, Felipe Franks, now the newest Atlanta Falcons quarterback. Felipe, thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Thank you. It's a pleasure.